Hi everyone. So it's been a little while. I'm sorry. The camera is shaking. Mouse is deciding to use the computer as a uh, like nuzzling thing. I'm sure that's not new to like Nancy and Alex and all that jazz. Anyway, um, update. What has been happening in my life? <laughs> um, it's been busy. Um, my husband and I have been out of town on the weekends for like the last, or at least insanely busy the last couple of weekends, and we're going to a wedding this weekend. Um, then hopefully we'll stay home and relax once. So starting that season of the year where we go out of town constantly, essentially, <laughs> which is a little extra stressful now that I'm like a site engineer, because almost implied that I should be available on the weekends to work overtime, like if we're doing testing and stuff. But we'll see how that works there. You got to see Mouse's lovely face. Which, that's really fun. I'm excited to go with work in every day and all that stuff. But the problem is, it's like 45 minute to an hour drive every morning and I'm exhausted every day, which is why I haven't really been posting. On top of being really busy for having limited time to be keeping everything organized here and <laughs> packing and everything for going out of town and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know, I love you. You're crawling all over me. Um, for everyone who was worried about my eyesight, my eyes felt much better the next day. Um, it really only hurt that day. I kept forgetting that I did that <laughs> until I'd look at my videos and see your guys' comments and I was like, oh yeah, I was an idiot for like a couple minutes. Um, other than that, uh, at the tailgate, people liked my cornbread jalapeno muffins. Um, there was a lot more cornbread than I thought there was going to be, because no one else really signed up for it on the tailgate, but people brought it anyway. Um, maybe they brought it because I signed up for it, I don't know. <laughs> um, but that was good. That was insanely busy. Um... I haven't really been doing much in other projects. Oh, something that especially like Nancy will be excited about. Um, whenever, Nancy, whenever you finish the Miss Foreign series, you should start the uh, Stormlight series by the same author, Brandon Sanderson. And uh, the first one is called Way of Kings. I'm almost done with that. Very good book. Uh, Rob just finished the second one of that series, so there's two out there. They're both like a thousand pages, just FYI. Um, but they are really good. Rob says the second one is even better, which I believe, because there's a lot of build-up and everything in the first one. So the first couple hundred pages of the first one is a little slow, kind of doing a lot of character development, introduction kind of stuff. Um... But it's a good book. It's really fun, entertaining. I actually have it on audiobook, so that's what I do during that 45-minute drive to and from work, is I listen to The Way of Kings, which is kind of funny. Especially because, okay, we went to Colorado this past weekend for an away game slash visiting people who've recently moved there. <laughs> and um, we listened to The Way of Kings for so long, because it's like eight, nine hours to get there from Kansas City. We listened to it so much. We were kind of bouncing back and forth of talking and music and stuff. <laughs> I was dreaming about it Sunday night. I was like, if I were this character, I would do this, that, and the other thing. And I'm going to try and do that in my dream and be successful. And it, it didn't really work in my dreams either, which I don't suspect it would in the book. <laughs> I still want to do it. Um... Anyway, it's a good book, um, if you guys like that kind of stuff. Um, to put it in perspective of the Miss Born series, it's the same universe. Um, obviously, not all the same characters. There's one character in common between that book and all of Brandon Sanderson's books, apparently. He kind of makes pseudo-cameo appearances. He's more of like a sideline character that isn't hugely important to the story, but he does play a role. Stop playing with that! Sorry, I'm getting possessive of my stuff and mouse wants it. Um, let's see, other than that, this weekend we're going to a wedding in Oklahoma. Yay, so we get to go and do that. <laughs> um, pro 
project was oh D and D stuff, gaming wise. Um, my Tuesday night game where I'm like the queen of the kingdom and everything. Um, the week before this week, uh, we had like, we went to like a tournament and like jousting and all sorts of other competitions. Um, the characters we're competing against are level 12, and we are level 5 with Mythic. So, we don't exactly line up, and we only got third and two of like, I don't know, six events or something. But whenever we go back and do more of these uh, tournament things, uh, we're, like, the people we're competing against, the 12 level characters, are going to remain 12 level. So it's going to become increasingly easier for us to dominate, and we're going to. Like, we were talking about, like, can we just poison these people? And, like, we were trying to, like, get, like, the NPCs drunk so that they would botch their <laughs> attempts at these things. And we actually succeeded on one of them, but he was a barbarian, so I was almost guaranteed that he wasn't going to do well in it anyway. <laughs> um... I can't remember what event was, but it was not something a barbarian should be doing. <laughs> but it was fun. It was good. Um, and then this week for that game, we actually, we kind of are ha sprouting off like a side campaign, like a campaign within the campaign, so that like our uh, dungeon master can actually like play a character and stuff, essentially, and he can also have like a week or two off where he doesn't have to worry about planning everything and blah, 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 blah stuff. Um... So for that, uh, I'm playing a shaman called Ui Ua. -a. <laughs> yeah, that was on purpose. Um, but I'm like a healer shaman kind of person, and I'm a kobold. There, there are kobolds in our kingdom that are actually allied with our kingdom. So that's not out of the ordinary and not terrible. Actually, <laughs> all but one of the characters have tails, because the other two, it's like two of the other characters are tieflings. It's a rogue and um, a gunslinger. And then there's Rob, <laughs> who is uh, a human bard. So we are, are not very, I would say, tanking oriented. And there's Rob in the background. He does not care, right? Did you want to talk about your stuff? Did you want to talk about Way of Kings and how it's awesome and Nancy needs to read it after she finishes the Mistborn series? She's allowed to make her own mistakes. It's not a mistake. He's lying to you. No, I'm not going to tell her not to do crap, even though it's better for her. Just like I'm not going to tell her to read the damn book, even though it's better for her life. <laughs> so you should read the book whenever you can. <laughs> um, I'm just about done so you can play your games. It wasn't going to stop me. Okay. Um, other than that, my other game, the one that was like on a starship and stuff, I couldn't go last week because I was just too tired. And um, all I know is that they finished it off. Somehow or another, they got off this ship that was like filled with aliens that were killing us and such. And uh, apparently Vincor, the company that sent us out there, and that's like, pen like a character I made that penetrated through all of our games from now on. Irrelevant of uh, time, continuity, and all that kind of stuff. But um, <laughs> Vincor destroyed a planet, I think. <laughs> the company. So I think that's really all that's going on in my life at the moment. I'm trying to fully develop my schedule and how I do things now that I drive like an hour for work. <laughs> which that's entertaining. But which means I should probably get back to doing things like laundry and cleaning and boring. <laughs> anyway, I will uh see you guys, talk to you guys later.